Hello, my name is Maurice Dimba. Today's presentation is of a shed of 20 meters span and 60 meters length. To confirm these measurements, you double click on the grid. A grid dialog box will present itself like this. If you have the X axis, if you have the Y axis, if you have the Z axis. On the, on the X axis, we have 10 columns. On the Y axis, we have uh, three grid lines. In between the grid lines, we have 10, 10 meters, making it 20 meters. Same to, uh, same to the X axis. To check the, the various heights of our column, you come to window, click on the grid two, grid A. From, you, you can see we have 0, 0 level, we have 7.5 height, we have 9.5, we have 13 meters high, which is the very top of our truss pitch. Let's go back to our grid, let's go back to our 3D. Now we will have a quick look on our con uh, connection component. To, co to check on the connection component, double click on the connection component, go on, on the connection type, a dialog box of connection details will present itself like this. We have the parts, we have the bolts, we have the general. You feed in the right requirements for your joint and click apply and OK. We'll close that. It's unfortunate that today we are handling trusses, not portal frame. Maybe on the next episode. Now this truss was generated. To generate the truss, just come to application and components and type and type truss. Double click on the truss thumbnail. This dialog box will present itself with an image of, of a preview of a preview of the of the truss that you might be likely to come up with. All those you have the choices to to pick from. If you have parts, you can click that and choose the profile type you want. You can use the universal columns. You can use channels. Everything is here for you. Once you've clicked, click apply and OK. Same here, apply and OK. Now, close that. Now we will populate these this column and truss along our grid line. Highlight everything and select, double click, uh, right click on the screen, go to copy special, click linear. But before doing that, please check on your axis, on your x, y axis. On our, on our x, y axis, it shows here we have the y axis and the x axis. And we want to populate these trusses and the columns along the grid lines. So we'll come to y axis. Since in between our columns we have 6 meter, 6 meter column to column. We just feed 6 meters. Since we have one tra um, the two trusses, uh, the, the, the two columns and truss already available for us, we need now 9 of them, not 10. Tap, we type 9 and click copy. There we are. Click OK. Right click to, double, to disable the command. Click interrupt. 
zoom closer click on the screen right click and redraw redraw here means to refresh by refreshing you remove all the obstacles that you saw on the trials and the columns we'll go to view just to, to rotate your model here is your model rotate around right click and disable that command now we want to generate palings along along our trusses we'll go before we do that we want to or, to reorient to reorient our palings to create a path for up for our palings you come to work plane click on the work, work plane tool click that we want our palings to follow this path follow this path we'll click there we'll, we'll click there right click to disable that work plane tool command come to steel click beam steel beam want our palling to start from this corner to this corner there we are we want to give our palling an offset from this end click on the palling right click go to special move linear before you feed in the offset distance you check the y-axis and the x-axis we have the y-axis and x-axis we want these paling to move on the y on the y-axis direction now you come to y-axis direction you feed 200 you want to give it an offset of 200 and click move it has actually moved and click ok right click and disable that command having done that we want to populate these palings up to this end following the slope of the truss come to this click right click and go to special copy click linear we want this number of trusses distributed over the truss on this dialog box that came up by by double click by right clicking on the mouse and clicking on the copy special please come to y axis feed your interval of 1200 millimeter for palin to palin we need 8 of this click copy there you are right click to disable that we need another palin just close to the pitch click on that palin right click go to special copy go to linear pick instead of picking you can come to the dialog box here reduce this number to one because you only need one we only need one here now this distance is a bit larger we'll give it either 500 and click copy okay there it is right click and to disable that command now we'll mirror all this 
to this end. But before you mirror this, please make sure you change your 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 work plane. You come to work plane tool, click on the work plane tool, click change your work plane. I'm, lo I'm actually looking for a point where I can actually locate our work plane properly. Can just zoom closer, closer and closer. Actually, actually locate it here. come to work plane, work plane tool, locate it there, right click and, and interrupt. We have Y axis, we have X axis there. Now to mirror all these, just select everything, one by one, one by one. Once you've selected, we want to mirror this at an angle of 90. Right click, go to special copy, mirror. I give it an angle of 90. Click copy. expand. Give it an angle of negative 90. No, it won't be of much help to us. Just leave it at 90. Click copy. Cancel that. Cancel that. Cancel that. And do that, and do that, and do, and do everything. You want to mirror this? Come to window, click the grid, and select all the palettes. Select all the palettes. Select one by one. Right click, go to special copy, mirror, want to, uh, we want to place our mirror line here, from here to here. And click copy, expand. Right click to disable the command, click OK. We'll go back to our 3D. On our 3D, we want to populate all these palings to the rest of the trusses. I copy everything one by one. Right click, copy, pick it from convenient point that you might prefer, pick it and end it there, end it there, end it there, end it there, and there. Bring this one here, put it there. 
run there right click to disable the command here we are with our with our with our shared already balance fixed turn turn your model okay this work actually a workshop with the provision of overhead crane now the overhead crane and rail will be fixed on the next episode with all the rail clamps and the rail supports on the next episode so please thanks a lot for watching our video the rest are coming a lot a lot of drawings are coming projects are coming there we are